basicity, and nucleophilicity. Rank the following compounds from strongest to weakest base. Basicity is a thermodynamic property measured by an equilibrium constant. The equilibrium constant does not tell you how fast the reaction will proceed, only the relative distribution of products and reactants once the equilibrium has been reached. First look at the molecules as two groups, an oxygen atom with a negative charge and a sulfur atom with a negative charge. Oxygen is more electronegative than sulfur and sulfur is larger and more polarizable than oxygen. What has a greater effect? Looking at this table of pKa values, you can see that as we go from left to right in the periodic table, the pKa values decrease and the compounds become more acidic. The pKa values also decrease as we go down the periodic table. Remember, from chapter 4, the stronger the acid, the more the equilibrium is shifted to the products, and the weaker the conjugate base. When comparing atoms in the same column in the periodic table, size has a greater stabilizing effect than electronegativity because the charge of the conjugate base is spread over a larger volume. When comparing atoms in the same row, electronegativity is more important. Thus the thiolate ion is the most stable, or the weakest base. Now look at the oxygen containing compounds. Both alkoxides are strong bases. However, the strongest base will have the equilibrium shifted more to the products. Which equilibrium is shifted more to the products? The solvent helps to disperse the charge of the anions. If the base is poorly solvated by water due to unfavorable interactions with the solvent, then the equilibrium shifts to the products, making the compound more basic. Since the hydrophobic region of the ethoxide anion is smaller, it will be solvated to a greater extent than the bulky alkyl group of 2-methylbutane-2-olate. 2-methylbutane-2-olate is the less stable anion in the solvent, making it more reactive and the strongest base. The answer is C. Rank the compounds from strongest to weakest nucleophile in a protic solvent. Nucleophilicity is a kinetic property which means we are looking at how fast the reaction will occur. It does not tell you how much product is produced or how far the equilibrium is shifted to the products. First look at the molecules as two groups, an oxygen atom with a negative charge and a sulfur atom with a negative charge. The thiolate ion is the weakest base. Hydrogen bonding to the solvent will not be as strong as with the alkoxide ions. The thiolate ion will be less hindered or freer to move in the solvent, making it a better nucleophile. Sulfur is also more polarizable than oxygen, which also increases its nucleophilicity due to an earlier transition state. The thiolate anion is the strongest nucleophile. Now look at the oxygen containing compounds. 2-methylbutane, 2-alate, is a sterically hindered nucleophile. The nucleophilic oxygen is bonded to a tertiary carbon. It will have a difficult time reaching the electrophilic carbon due to steric interaction. The ethoxide anion is much less sterically hindered, making it a better nucleophile. The answer is D.